In our CAN cycle, we've got this other G code next to the G81 that says G98. And I did overlook this um, in the previous videos. I didn't really want to talk about it because uh, it does rather complicate things if you're trying to explain uh, the basics of CAN cycles. Now, this G98, um, it's an optional thing. It's a G98 or it's a G99. And depending which one you program, you get two different reactions from the cycle. Um, if you don't put it in, it just defaults to G98. So you don't have to put this in, but it does have a use. So it can either be G98 or it can be G99. Now, if we look at the tool, when the tool comes down to the component, if we look further up here, and this could be any line, but it's the last Z figure that the machine read. So in this program, the tool will come to Z53. So it's 53 millimeters above the datum. And the datum is this face here, this lower face, that's Z0. And so it's 53 millimeters above that datum. And then this R figure, which is the point that it first rapids to, is one millimeter. So that's just one millimeter above that work surface. So what that means is that this G98 tells it that after it's completed the cycle to return to what we call the initial point. So it will go back up to this Z53 after each time it uses the cycle. But if we put this in as G99, after the cycle, it will return to this R point. So when it, it'll drill the hole and just come back to one millimeter above. But if it's G98, it will come all the way back up to this Z53. So let's run it. And let's see how it looks. So let's just single block this through. Pick up our drill. Move to a position. And it's coming down to 53 millimeters above. That's a front view and I'll just leave it on that front view just to do this first little section so you can see exactly where it is. So my Z0 is this face. And this height here is 50 millimeters. So at the moment, I'm actually three millimeters above that face at Z53. I'm going to start my spindle, in this case, 1500 RPM. Start my coolant. And this G98 says to return back to this Z53 where it is now after you've drilled the hole. But the first thing it's going to do is rapid to this R1. So let's get some more information on this screen. So the first thing it's going to do is rapid and it's rapid to one millimeter above the component. So it's at Z1, which is corresponds to this R1. So that's the point we want it to rapid to. We're then telling it to feed to minus 57. This is all speeded up, so don't worry about it uh, cutting metal. And then that G98 says, after you've finished the cycle, come right up to this 53. So, so if we just turn this around now so we can actually see it drilling. What it's going to do for all the subsequent holes is drill, come all the way out. And now it won't hit this section that's sticking up when it comes to drill this hole it's skipping it so i've set that initial figure so that it will always miss it but you will have noticed that this is a wasted movement we're coming all the way up in the air and it's not necessary it's wasted movement and it all adds up uh, over a cycle all this time will add up So what we're looking at now is this is the clever way to stop this from doing all this wasted movement. So this time I'm using a combination of G98 
and G99. So my program is identical to the last one, except that this time I'm going to use a combination of G98 and G99 to stop this wasted movement. And you'll quickly understand how this all works. So I'm picking up my tool, exactly the same, moving to the same position, and bringing it down to Z53, which is my initial position. Um, and this is the position it's going to it's going to jump back to if I use G98. And then I'm start my spindle and my coolant, and then I'm saying rapid to one uh, R1. So Z will now come to one mil above the job but i'm telling it now i put in there g99 <clears throat> g99 means return to this r point so when it's completed this hole it should come back to z1 so it comes back press again and it's back to z1 and then it's going to do the next hole and it's still in g99 i don't need to restate this it knows that that's active it knows that that G code is active. If you look on this modal information, you can see G99 is active, which means every single hole is going to return to this said one figure, which I programmed as R1. Now you'll look at the next hole and it says this time G98. In other words, don't go to this Z1 figure, go all the way up to the 53. Jumps to the next hole and it says, ah, but this time come back to the one again. So it does that hole, comes back to the one. So it nice and neatly does each hole at this G99 figure and back and away. So that's how we use G98 and G99. You can nice and neatly uh, make it drill these holes without any wasted movement.